everyone, it's Russell Actor Games Dotcom here, and today is our first day home, which I'm really excited about. Um, I'm playing Minecraft and watching YouTube. Uh, so now I'm hanging out with my kitty. You wanna say hi, Dominos? Oh, hello. Yeah, this is my kitty, and he's sitting with me. Um, well, I play video games. I'm just really glad to be home and be with the pets. Um, and yeah, we have to figure out what we're gonna eat because we just got home. We don't have a lot of stuff here, but that's fine. Um, we're all just having a good. We're just having fun, and I get to hang out with my kitty, which I'm really happy about. And my puppy. Hey, puppy, don't come up here. Wanna say hi? Say hi. Yeah, I'm back. I'm really glad to be with the pet. So Cooper's gonna help me do a little shopping for the car, mm -hmm. right? And fix him with the hook. And help him with the car? You're gonna help me fix it. So I, when we got home, we park at uh, one of the off-site airport parking things, and we do valet. And so when you pull up, your car's ready to go, and the air conditioner's running, or the heat's running, and they clean all the snow off of it and stuff. It's great. And uh, when we pulled up this time, I saw that one of the headlights was out. Cool. And that's bad, because normally I'm in the car, so I don't see the headlights. So I don't know that my headlight went out. But this time I got to see that my headlight went out, so we need to buy some new headlights. And one of my turn signals on the same side has been out for a while, too, so we're going to buy some turn signals, too. And some bulbs. And also with his windshield, have like a <laughs> fire quad. <laughs> my, windshield, my windshield's broken, too, but we're not going to fix that today. Work. So what you have to do, Cooper, is you have these books. When you go to the parts store like this, you see these are all the uh, headlights, all the light bulbs for the car. And so you have to look in this book and find my car, and then that tells you which light bulbs to buy. Okay? Ah. So we're going to do that together real quick. So, Hold on one second. got to put the camera down because I can't do that while we're, while we're doing the thing. All right? There we go. We found out that we need 1157 for the turn signal. You see those, Cooper? Mm-hmm. Ooh, 1157s. Perfect. That's exactly what we need. Now so we just need to find that D2S headlight. That's a little confusing. You hear it? They're beautiful. Like jingle bells. Okay, let's find the. What do we say? D, D2S? Yeah, D2S. Right, let's D2S. D2S. Yeah, there's lots of different kinds of light bulbs What's right there. D? I don't know. Let's look for another. I think it's dual. Uh, it's for low beams and high beams at the same time. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close the camera again so we can look. Well, we found the light bulb. It turned out that they kept them behind the counter because the uh, low beams for my car are $100 a piece. It's like as much money as you got for Christmas, Cooper. Mm -hmm. So uh, they're very expensive, it tiny little bulbs. It's more than it's. I had more money than, than that. Did you? That on Christmas. Mm. So we got uh yeah. So I got I got my low beam. I'm gonna cherish it and take very good care of it, I suppose. But they had it they had it hidden. That's why we couldn't find it. So I got my low beam and my turn signal light. We'll probably put them in tonight. I don't know. I got to get home and we got to watch our dark matter and then we'll see where things go from there. But that's the plan for Subaru making the extremely expensive car parts. Right, Cooper? It was, it's less than how much I got, got from Christmas because I got a uh, hundred from, from Santa mm -hmm. and then I used that, that at May. Yeah. But, but Grammy, Grammy gave me a $20 um, to both of us. Yeah. So, so I got twenty hundred. One hundred and twenty, not twenty hundred. That'd be nice if you got twenty hundred. So you're gonna pay for this for me, with your money? Well, I already. I don't know where my twenty is, mm -hmm. and I own and I used my a hundred at May, so I only have fifty. Oh. Okay. And I left that, and I left the fifty at the house. Okay. How about you pay for fifty, and I'll pay for fifty of my hundred dollar light bulb. Yeah. Is that a good idea? Look how nice he is. You don't have to do that, Cooper. That's your $50. This is, I'll pay for this. It's okay. Okay? You ready to go home and eat a bug? Yeah. Yeah, I don't even care if I use my $50. I'll just get another one next Christmas. <laughs> that's, that's a very good attitude. Okay, the battery's about to die. Let's go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye. While we were at ClamorCon, <laughs> what did we get to eat, Cooper? Waiting. What? Uh, <laughs> Okay, not yet. Not anything yet. Raisins. Got bugs. <laughs> we got raisins bugs. on the brain? We got what are these? Do you remember? Bugs. What kind of bugs? What kind of name? These are crickets. Crickets? Moroccan crickets, I think it said. And these are mealworms. These meal are just worms. salt and pepper mealworms uh, from Bug Bistro. Okay? Cooper's idea was, was to make a town. And so um, my town was we're going to try the bugs and with our favorite bug. We'll put on the food and see if it's still good. So these are some food that Cooper likes. Mm -hmm. What what are they, Cooper? Tell us what the foods are. They this is these are raisins. Okay. These are pop chips. Yep. 
This is a little bit of mango. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are cherries. And this is a larvar. And these are the bugs. Ooh. So first, we're going to eat just a bug and see what we think about the bugs. Mm -hmm. And then we'll eat the bugs oh, yeah. with some of the food. Mm -hmm. Who's going to go first? Um, probably me. Okay, which one are you, are you going to eat? Are you going to eat a mealworm? You can have some of it. Are you going to eat a mealworm or a cricket first? I'm going to top this mealworm and take it. All right, let's go. Go back a second. It tastes, it has a crunch to it, but not like a way in. It has like a little crunch. Okay, I'm gonna try this guy. That's all. That's a crunch. It does have a crunch. Okay, I'll be your turn. Are you gonna be a different? No one? Are you gonna go cricket? I'm gonna be different. I'm gonna cook it. Moroccan cricket. And not a whole cricket, like a cricket abdomen. Yeah, they're like cricket body parts. Lovely. Yeah, now I'll try cricket. What flavor is this? Moroccan. That's the flavor of yeah, cricket? Yeah, I don't know. Spices. <laughs> hmm. Okay. I like the taste of a cricket, but I don't like whatever it's on it. No. Mommy? No, thank you. Would you like a Moroccan cricket? No, oh, thank you. you. Will you like this? No. Nope. Salt and pepper and mealworm? I'm fine, right here behind the camera. Okay. Now, Cooper, what food do you want to try the... Uh, well, what are your impressions? What was your favorite? Well, I you have mealworms. You tell me. No. I don't like mealworms, I think. Yeah, my, my favorite is the mealworm. Because I make a meal. <laughs> I would like to try with the pop chip. A yeah, mealworm pop chip. I just taste the pop chip, and not the bug. Mm, okay, I want to do a mealworm mango. Yeah, I can tell you we're gonna do that. Mm. Yeah, mostly mango. How mm -hmm. about what are you gonna cherry, do? Cherry, because I really like cherries. Okay. We haven't had them in a while. So a cherry cricket or a cherry mealworm? Cherry mealworm. Mealworms are favorite. Sorry, Yeah, make that like the stem. Why? I can stem, eat. like mealworm stem on her cherry. Don't eat the thing in the middle. Pit. Don't eat the pit. You okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Put that pit out. I'm probably like, I hate the textures. Oh, you hate textures? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. There's definitely some bug texture. Mm -hmm. so you get a little bug stuck in your teeth. Let's try like riding um, a motorcycle. A cricket pop chip. Oh, a cricket pop chip. Okay. What is? Ooh, uh oh, he hopped cricket. off. Yeah, that's why he. <laughs> Pop chip. So just pop chip, yeah. Cooper was telling everyone at Whole Foods that we were going to go home and eat bugs. <laughs> that we were getting some food to uh, mix with our bugs. And I'm sure they were excited about that. They were. They said people all over the world eat bugs except for here. So it's a good, it's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Ah, don't eat my finger. <laughs> That's an addition to that meal. <laughs> Daddy morsel, just a bug, a bunch of crickets, some mango. What do you think? Was it tasty? Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you taste cricket that time since we put a bunch of crickets yeah. in there? Yeah. I'm gonna try Domino. Diamond! Diamond! Do you have a hat? What are you doing? What are you doing? Is that your cave, Diamond? Is that your cave? Millworm pop chip for Clyde. You ready? <laughs> sit. Millworm. Sit. Sit, 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 and have to. Is it good? Oh, oh no, 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 he's got a pit oh, in it. Are you eating the cherry? Yes. Clyde, don't wash it down with cherry. Did you, did you swallow the pit? I think so. he probably, you know he did. You're going to grow a good, good, good cherry tree in your belly. Yeah, yeah, he'll be like, ah, I'm that, can I have that cherry? Ah. You're going to pick cherries out of his belly? <laughs> okay, Cooper, did you like the crickets and the mealworms? I'm going to try a mango meal. Okay. Bon yeah. appetit. <laughs> Bon appetit. <laughs> you don't take the food out of your mouth. You don't say bon appetit. <laughs> kind of defeats the purpose of your politeness. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu.
Okay, Cooper. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's wrap up. Mm -hmm. Which was okay, what, what was your favorite bug? Mealworm? What was your favorite food and bug combination? Um I like um tough. It's tough, yeah. I'm gonna just try it with a Terry now. Okay, try it real quick, Jerry. Okay. Let's put a bunch on the Terry. It's gonna be hard to balance. <laughs> Oh, woo. nice job. <laughs> You're very serious about it. You're yeah. tasting, Cooper. <laughs> he needs to be on a panel of some sort, very doesn't he? Very considerate it? about how you... Food Network mm -hmm. needs to be calling. Um, that's good. Good, it tastes... Mm -hmm. I like it. You like it. Okay. So, uh, thank you to Bug Bistro, because mm -hmm. they gave us these when we checked in at Clamacon. I don't mm -hmm. think they intended for this to happen. Yeah, they, I'm sure they did. It's pretty tasty, though. Good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, let's go uh, do some other stuff. All right. Mm-hmm. I'm going to stay here and eat. All right, you stay here and eat bugs. I'm going to go do some other stuff. Mm -hmm. We're doing a Dark Days of May, um, day two, which is season one, episode two. Um, of what? Dark Matter. <laughs> yes, I forgot to mention that. Um, to prepare for season three, which is starting on June 9th. June 9th. So what are we doing? And What's we the dark watching, days of May? We are watching one episode of Dark Matter uh, every day leading up to um, season three, so that we will have like a nice refresher of what right. happened. So we will finish day. season two the day before the premiere of season three. Yes. We'll watch one a day. And when are we watching one a day? At seven o'clock. So it was like what, what time? Mountain Zone. <laughs> 7 o'clock. <laughs> Mountain Zone. We don't remember what it was, but Presley, this is not all that long ago. This is just a couple of months ago. No, Presley, was like, was we should, there was some show coming on that she wanted to watch or something, and she got panicked because she thought we were missing it, and she was like, what time does it come on? 8, 7 central? <laughs> 8, comma. <laughs> like 8, 7 central was just one time to Presley. It is. <laughs> it, was just, it was very funny. That it shows how much like TV time. and commercials and stuff. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're tweeting out, right? While we watch, when something interesting happens or something funny or something that makes us think, we tweet out real quick. Yeah. Um, so we send out a bunch of tweets while we're watching the show. So from like 7 to 7.45 or so every night, we'll be watching one episode. Yeah. Tomorrow's episode three. I'm uh, quite astonished. Like, after just watching episode one yesterday in the airport, I'm pretty astonished at how uh, rewatchable it is. I know. Like they plant a whole lot of clues. And like the they clearly things. They clearly knew where they were going with at least season two. We'll have to watch again after season three to see if it was even season three stuff planted in, in season one. But they the definitely planted things, a lot right. of season two stuff, right? Yeah, and the little things are like so iconic. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad. It's so cool seeing all the characters like when they barely know each other and they haven't really established right. Anything. But it, it totally changed. It's already changed my perspective of the show a lot. Like I think no. the show sort of missed to be rewatched because there are things that you don't know that they're doing and that they're talking about. One of the really big ones for me was spoiler alert. Like, well, yeah, I won't go into the spoiler necessarily. But President, I have talked a lot about the sh how the show is interesting because you have these people that were bad guys, and then they have amnesia, and when they don't remember their past, they become kind of good guys. Mm -hmm. But we're learning that. It's really one and six that are pushing to be good guys, and the without is like, eh. without without spoiling their whole like future story, that makes a lot more sense, and it's a lot less sort of revolutionary that yeah. those guys are trying to be good guys. And so there's all these things that are planted in the show, and then fives having other people's memories. Which, if you're watching this for the first time, you have no idea what she's talking about. But it we seems, do now. It seems really creepy, but if you've seen it, if you've seen the whole series now, when you watch it, you know exactly who she's talking about yeah. and, and whose memory she's having and stuff. And that's really yeah, cool. That's like amazing. it's really, really, really well done. Their eyes out. I know. She gets to be all creepy, like her other acting job. Yeah. Uh, and then I, I, one of the tweets, they did like some really cool location stuff tonight. Yeah. Um, that's gonna be cool. I right? don't know where that is. I don't know. It's in Vancouver, I suppose. Isn't it where they shoot? Somewhere. Yeah. Awesome. So let's uh, let's watch some Dark Matter and send out some tweets. Yeah. If you want to watch, just get caught up. If you watch a couple of episodes in a row, you'll suddenly be caught up with us. And, and tomorrow, well, the day you're watching this, we'll be on episode three at 7 yeah. p.m. Yeah? Mountain. Mountain time. Mountain time. Just general 7 p.m. 7 mountain, 6 Pacific.
Yeah. Something central, I don't know. Right. Magic. Okay, let's watch the show and tweet. Yes. All we right. finished watching Dark Matter and oh my god, I'm just so excited about all the little things that you don't notice. Like the foreshadowing and even just tiny character traits that have no impact on the show. But that you're, I'm just now noticing because I kind of know what's going to happen in the future. So everything isn't like brand new and it's so amazing. It's definitely a really good show to rewatch. If you haven't rewatched it already, you totally should. Um, just because everything is so, ah, I just love the show so much. Um, yeah, and one of the writers, uh, Joseph Malozzi, I've been pronouncing his name right, and the official Dark Matter Twitter account liked a bunch of our tweets, which is super amazing. Um, and yeah, I just, I'm so excited about that, and the show is so amazing, and ah, it's so good. It's kind of hard to just watch one a night. I know. I kind of want to binge it again. I know, I want to binge watch the whole thing. Okay. <laughs> So, it's getting pretty late, um, it's pretty late. so we're going to go ahead and go to bed, um, but yeah, that was definitely super amazing and I'm really excited for tomorrow's episode. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye. 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 Bye.